Morning Con. Is it good? Bad. Could you have made it? Did you want to make it? What's my reaction to it? Hey guys, it's me and Nick. This is my reaction to Brony Con. I have an intro here somewhere, but I'm not all too good. So I'm just going to show you what's going on right now. This is the live stream going on right now on my iPhone. As you can see, what's going on right now is, I believe, it looks like, um... Uh, I forget what it is. It's, uh, Colony Parliament? Something like that? Um, the live stream is going on right now. Again, it's at live stream Everfree Radio. It will be uploaded to YouTube there, the uh, Everfree Radio YouTube account. Um, and I'm watching it, as you can see. And honestly, it's doing very, very well. It is about a uh, quarter to two on the se on Sunday, July 1st, Happy July, and Canada Day for all my Canadian viewers. Um, first off, I want to talk about uh, Bron BronyCon, of course. It's the main subject of the show. First day happens. I get on the stream just as the opening ceremony is coming to a close, and I get to hear Terrace, I get to see everyone on stage, and they're like, okay, let's get everyone out of the room because we need to, like, clear the room, get everything ready for the next panel, then get everyone back in, and then do the panel, and repeat, you know? Then close the panel, then repeat. So, to open the con... Sorry, Ben. Um, right now, I am again watching this. So, but here's what happened. It began with everyone coming on stage: the voice actors, the uh, the crew, John Lancy, Lauren Faust, Amy King, Rogers, Meg McCarthy, Peter New, uh, Lee Talker, uh, Tara Strong, Charles Parker herself, Andrea Libman, Nicole Oliver. Uh, I think I said Andrew Lindman already. Andrew Lindman and Cole Oliver. Uh, there was more, there was more. I was the two guys. <laughs> Kathy Westlock. And Kathy Westlock. They're all here uh, at Running Con. First day. They do the opening. And at the end, Twilight, again, Tara, says, uh, Can I hear one in a Twilight Licious? They do the Twilight Licious and be like, I love you, Claire. And then Discord says, Discord, John Lancy, says, quote, Let the chaos begin. Everyone cheers at this. So we have voice actor panels. We have uh, musicians. Musicians from um, YouTube. We got, um, coming up, we have voice actors from the community, we have fanfic stuff going on, Sonic Rainbow is being released, Friendship is Witchcraft, Episode 7 is being released. I've already seen it, and it's pretty cool. I like it. Let's have a moment of silence with that rain cloud. Saved everyone. Um, <laughs> well, a lot of people are saying, rest in peace, rain cloud. <laughs> now, careful, rain cloud. Rain cloud. That Derby was on in the episode, they completely cut Derby out! Yeah, it's a mystery. <laughs> they never show it again! Freaking I bought Nanos, oh my god. Um, anyway, so. So, while BronCon is going good right now, there are two things that happen with, not only the people there, not at least one thing, but two things that happened on the live stream. First off, last night there was horror. Horror struck. Chaos ensued. As during the Brony auction, there's a Brony auction going on near the end of the night. After that, they have Brony Palooza where everybody dances to the music. We heard that um, Mike the Microphone, who was also at the uh, uh, the voice, no, the music panel, uh, after he did his song for uh, for that whole thing, he stage died. He freaking stage died. And we on the uh, the chat room and the live stream missed it. We also missed Tara and Megan shaking their groove things, as Pink would say. We missed John Melancy shaking hands with Living Tombstone, also from the Axe series, also from the musicians panel. 
just for listening to the Discord remix that he did. Omni Pony, of course, doing the original. You can find that here on YouTube as well. But, as the... As the, um... Uh, well, it was called, uh, it was like, something is magic, oh my god. It was, um, Writing is Magic. As the Writing is Magic panel began, as the Writing is Magic panel began, there was time for Q&A. Megan McCarthy, who has done episodes, who has written episodes such as Lesson Zero and Party of One, where, where Twilight and Pinky, respectively, in said episodes, goes completely crazy, as she was about to answer the question, disaster and chaos ensued. A light, nearly above the live stream, we got to see what happened afterwards, it is online. The fire, oh, I think I just spoiled it right now. The, it's basically an overhead light with like the two lines, with like two line lights. Two lights that are lines basically. Like bar lights, I'm not sure. And what happened was those lights somehow that light it the flint I said the flim film the film plastic covering that those usually have somehow that caught on fire. And it burnt. And here's here's how it happened. It burnt from from a uh, camera's perspective, the left side, somewhere right around here, let's, let's do this, let's do it. So, it burned, it start, started burning here, we saw sparks, fiery sparks coming down from the light, we saw them falling to the ground, the fire moved and moved and moved, the light was still on by the way, and we saw electric sparks, 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 and while this is going on, everyone's saying, okay, everyone evacuate, get out of here, go, go, go. The live stream, however, full of about 2,500 people. 2,500 people watching on the live stream. That is amazing. That could have crashed it right there and there. But amazingly, it didn't. And what the 2,500 of us saw, I saw it too. The light, car on fire from the left, sparked, as I said before. And it burned, and it burned, and it burned, and it went from on the side, to the sparking, to the halfway mark, and as it passed in the last three quarters or so, the two lights, the actual lights themselves, hold on, they, uh, no, no, they fell, they, they were like, they're like, uh, they're like that, let's say these are the lights, first light starts to go down, and so the second one, and then the first one falls to the ground, and it breaks on the floor, and it was like, and it was like one person like, woo, that was exciting. And the second one, leaning, 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 till it's straight down, then suddenly, BAM, that falls! And it's like, whoa! Well, at least the lights are broken, and at this point, the lights are all off! Only backup power, that is not on the headlights, the overhead lights, only those are on. The overhead lights are now off, in that one section. So those two fall, but the fire is still burning and it's closing in and it's closing in and it's going and it's going and it's going and it's going, and it's going to the end of the light itself. And the live stream users are watching this for like six, seven, maybe eight minutes. There's like a four minute, uh, there's like a four minute version. Maybe it was four. I don't know. There's a longer version for seven. Suddenly, the camera, who that was watching the entire scene unfold pans down for a sec, shows that there are two ladders there, two ladders, which are basically like, like that, like, you see how that is? It's like, see this right here? It's like, it's like that tall, that tall. Those, two of those ladders were there. There are a lot of people like, oh, what do we do, what do we do? We don't, we have, we have ladders, but what do we do with them? It's too high up, it's about maybe two, three, four stories up, I don't know, it's a higher roof. Suddenly, the live stream says, lost signal. Black screen, white letters, from left to right, lost signal. Of course it's They say lost signal. The signal was lost. 
They had shut the power off. And they said, nah, we're not having it. That's it. You get no more. Watch online to see it. And ladies and gentlemen, there have been many, 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 many. There have been live streamers. There have been like, you know, recording from live streams. This is what happened. There are actual real life, real as, like, right to the moment. On the spot, as it happens, just basically almost live feed of the thing burning down and Brony's reaction to this like, oh my god, how is this possible? What happened? Anyway, I go down the launch around 12 or so, that's when everything's, you know, like, it's, it's really just like, we don't really know what to do. That's basically what everyone's saying. I have lunch for about maybe 15, 20 minutes or so, half hour maybe, closing in on 1 o'clock. I grab my iPhone, I get on the live stream, and the videos and the live stream is now back up. And I'm like, oh my, what? That's amazing. It's back up. I was like, good job, man. Good freaking job. That was amazing. You got it back up. Good job. So, the question inquirer comes in, talks about all this stuff that has happened again. Fire in the light, burnt it, and then fire crew, fire crew, by the way, fire crew, they came in and they were like, well, you know, we're only here if the fire gets out of hand, so, you know, we're here for, you know, warning. Like, if it gets out of control, then we're here. Second, uh, and, and also, outside, by the way, there were a lot of people saying, oh, this is what's happening. There were a lot of people who actually uh, recorded it live inside the convention using their phone. A lot of people also used their phone to actually record after the, uh, the fire, which is now apparently called the Great Fire of BronyCon 2012. Like, there's not going to be another fire. Like, there's not. Like there's gonna be another, like there's gonna be another fire in the near future of BronyCon. This is gonna look good on the documentary. That it really, really, really is. Anyway, so that's so yeah. They're back in. Everything's back to normal. And as you can see, what they're doing right now is a uh, phony parliament, which is kind of like uh, if you go to like a. Oh, it looks like they're done. Sorry. Most fun you've ever had here, yeah. Okay, but anyway, Pulling Parliament, which they just did. Basically what that is, I guess what it is, is like, if you go to jury duty and you take on an actual case in the courthouse, that's basically what it is. You present a problem, you get the evidence in, everything comes together, and then you find out who done it. Something about Discord, that's when I came in. There was some guy literally dressed like David Tennant, Doctor Who fans, and Laura, you are gonna be so surprised when you see that film. You are gonna be like, oh my god, is David Tennant actually there? It literally looked like him. There was one case that really, really blew my mind. As they come in, as the voice actors come in, so you do the voice actor panel. Everyone's like, oh, well, who done it, who done it, who done it, what happened? Voice of Spike comes in, and she goes, in her Spike voice, I did it. Spike did it. So Spike did it. Everyone always blamed Discord, but oh no, it's Spike. Pony Parliament, Spike, some guy tries to Spike, blames it on Twilight for the almost near death of Rarity. And we say, oh, it is Spike. And now he has to write letters to everyone at the con saying he's sorry. And that, oh my god, that's going to take forever. And this video took forever. I need to really cut it here. I can't have videos over 15 minutes on this thing. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, BronyCon gets better as the days come. Well, as the day ends, I guess, as we continue on. But thanks for watching this quick update video on BronyCon. Fingers crossed that it gets better. And the next one is awesome, because I'll be there the next one. Fingers crossed again. Let me know in the comments if you were at today's BronyCon or yesterday's BronyCon. Let me know if you're going to be at next year's BronyCon, and I will see you guys in the near future. By the way, I can't really upload 
uh, YouTube videos right now. It's not really letting me. Okay.